Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelby. We are looking after my sister-in-law's dog. He's super cute, but he's obsessed with like shadows and reflections. So he's probably going to be in here whining a little bit. <laughs> This is Hobbies. You guys should know who Hobbs is already because he's our baby. If Lulu comes in, I don't know if I could hold her up to show you guys, but I'll try. Back to the video. I have been inundated with people asking me about my skincare routine and my hair care routine. Just as a little, I guess, explanation as to why people might be asking that, I'm going to show you a before picture of my hair versus a now picture of my hair for length. Obviously, you guys can see my hair right now comes up to about just underneath my boobs, about my ribs comes up to my ribs. In 2020, 2021, I'm not sure, I had really short hair. Like it was like up to here. So I've got a decent amount of length, which we love. And then secondly, I'll also show you a before and after photo of my skin. So before I'll show you a photo and then now is obviously this. I don't have any makeup on right now. I have done my skincare routine for this morning, but I will be doing it again just to show you guys. But my skin has Definitely healed in the sense that I don't have any active acne anymore. This is obviously hormonal as well as what you care for and how you care for your skin. But um, I'm going to be going over just products, just surface level products. And basically like what I've done in that time. So this is kind of like a recap. I feel like I do one of these every now and then, every year. I just get inundated with people seeing me on story saying, hey, how's your skin looking? So juicy and plump and glowy. I've definitely tried and tested like every product on the market. Like genuinely, if there's one thing I spend too much money on, it is makeup, hair care, and skincare. That's that. We're gonna get into skincare first. So oh, I burnt my face yesterday. So that's why you can see like, I got a burnt nose, burnt forehead, all of that. My skin is super, super sensitive. I am finally getting to the point where I'm using a retinol, a very small amount of retinol once a week and I'm easing my way into using it. I'm going to show you guys my skincare drawer because when I say that I've used so many products, I'm telling you, I have used so many products. Like half of them I haven't even used properly yet. A drunk elephant actually sent me a whole heap of products. So that's why I'm testing those out. That's why there's a lot of drunk elephant in here. And then I have multiple others that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, I'll show you in a second which ones I feel have actually worked really well for my skin. This is just going to be a very like crazed thing. So first things first is I follow Dr. Whitney Bow. Anyway, she talks about skin cycling. So basically all skin cycling is, is an exfoliating day, a retinol day, and then two recovery days or more if you need more recovery days. So that's the kind of protocol that I've been using, but I've been testing out which products I actually like doing. In the mornings, every single morning, I do not cleanse my face. So I read on TikTok with a dermatologist that has a page, she was saying, if you do have dry skin, it's not worth cleansing in the morning because you're basically just washing away all of the work that your skin's been doing overnight to hydrate and rejuvenate your skin. So I just do a little water wash every single day, every single morning, every single night, I use a thermal spring water. So I'll get out of the shower, pat my face dry, pat my body dry, blah, blah, blah. I'll put on my thermal spring water. Literally just spray it across my face, make sure it's all nice and plumpy, nice and moisture. Like you'll see, there's a lot of moisture on my face. Now, the reason why I started using this is because, again, a dermatologist that I followed said that you should never put on A, a hyaluronic serum, or B, a moisturizer without already having damp skin. So from here, I usually go in with the Drunk Elephant Hydration Serum B Hydra Intensive Pineapple Ceramide Pro Vitamin B5. Really, really, really nice. I actually also use the Laneige um, Hyaluronic Serum that they had. That was really nice as well. So I'll put that on over the water. It feels really, really, I guess, wet like wet and slimy and it feels like it's never going to sink into my skin but it does so in the morning i've also started i'm almost out of this stuff so i have the ufo ultra clarifying oil from sunday riley absolutely love this stuff i'm almost out so i've also been using the virgin marula luxury facial oil which is really nice from drug elephant so i've been using that as well at the moment i've been using my ufo morning and night it's literally she's gone there's none left so i'm going to use this oil and i just put it generously on my face 
just rub it in. Another trick I was told, never let the droplet touch your skin. Rub it all in, down the neck. We're talking like seriously, seriously hydrated, seriously glowy. I put my oil on next, whatever that may be. Obviously I showed you guys that. And then I use a hydrating cream or a moisturizer and then my SPF. So I use the Zoskin hydrating cream. This one's obviously like the labels are literally falling off. I've got a new one um, as well. So I'll show you what it actually usually looks like. Absolutely love Zoskin skin health it is also the gentle cleanser that I use every night so I'll put that one on just a little smudge again waiting for my skin stuff my skincare from previous to dry out just a little bit so I'm not layering on without allowing it to kind of sit into the skin that's the fourth step I never thought I'd be a five-step skincare routine galley but I am and then SPF so literally just pat that on because the minute you rub it in it actually takes out how much SPF it's using because you're thinning out the product. Thump, 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 thump. Don't forget the eyelids and your ears. That is my skincare lineup. Now, quickly before I go on to my skincare acne journey and my retinol and exfoliation nights and products, I just want to quickly show you guys this. So if you need to take like a screenshot or if you want to have a look, thermal spring water, some kind of hydration serum. We've got the facial oil. So this one's the UFO, the ultra clarifying face oil, or I've got Got the virgin marula luxury facial oil i've then got a hydrating cream or some kind of moisturizer hydrating moisturizer and then my spf this one's 50 plus the smart tone sunscreen really lovely it's got a little bit of a tint to it so that is that i'm going to take out the products that i don't use at night and i'm going to show you what i would do at night every morning i'll do those and then at night time that's when i'm either doing my exfoliating or my retinol and i'll show you how i kind of layer that up as well for my exfoliation night i was told paulia's choice exfoliate two percent bha liquid exfoliant is amazing i haven't started using this yet i am again a little bit nervous because i don't know how tingly or how rough it is on your skin but for now i've just been using this glycolic night serum i'll do the aveeno thermal avene i'll let that sink into my skin completely dry out completely and then i'll put this serum on instead of my hydrating serum so that will stand in the place of that hydrating serum I then put on the virgin luxury facial oil because a lot of the times the luxury oil that drunk elephant has works in with all of their products like it there's not really a product that they have where you can't use it with it which I really like because again as much as I want to be exfoliating my skin I need something that's kind of mixing it in and not making it too harsh and then again I'll put the hydrating cream and I'll do take the smart tone out actually not this one using this one the recovery cream from Zoe Skin Health. So this is what my nighttime looks like. So we've got thermal spray water, let it soak in completely. We're using the glycolic night serum instead of the hydration serum. Then I will work into using Paula's Choice um, exfoliant instead of this one as I get a little bit, as my skin tends to get a little bit more used to that kind of work done to it and then i chuck on the luxury virgin facial oil and then i put on last but not least the recovery cream so that is my exfoliating night now i was told by these uh dermatologists obviously not me personally but or just on social media that they actually would prefer you to have some kind of chemical peel or some kind of like glycolic serum or some kind of you know acid that's working to exfoliate your face rather than like a physical exfoliant so that's why i've gone with these two for that if it is retinol night i still do this again let it dry in completely we don't have to have dry skin but it just needs to be generally dry so i'll put the thermal spray on then i go in with my hydrating cream moisturizer and i do it around the nose on the eyelids just in any super dry areas. Then I will put this retinol on, just a one pump, dab it all over the face, rub it in completely, uh, one dab across the neck, rub that in, and two dabs across the chest, rub that in. That comes there. Then I'm going to 
use, I don't actually use the oil this night. So straight from retinol, I then cover that up. I sandwich that with my recovery cream. Majority of the products are obviously Zoe Skin. So we've got the thermal spray, let that dry completely. Put this on the dry spots of the face. Retinol, I'm only using the 0.5 from So Skin. Steve has the 1% one, one, but I'm just, again, my skin needs to really come into that kind of training in regards to those products. And then sandwich it with the recovery cream. So when I say sandwich it, it means between two moisturizers, I put the harsh product. That's it for skin. It is so much. I'm realizing how much it is when I'm actually bringing it up, but at the same time, like, I have had so many problems with my skin in the past, not just acne. Obviously, acne isn't always just how you treat your skin on the surface level. It's obviously got a lot to do with gut. It's got a lot to do with hormones, all of that stuff. But I always did feel like my skin was very dry, didn't have any kind of life to it. I really wanted to figure out a good skincare routine that made me feel like my skin was alive and young and plump and juicy and just living her best life. So that's basically what's gotten me, like those products are what gotten me to feeling like my skin is probably at its best right now and I feel like it's only gonna get better the more that I start venturing into my retinol and exfoliation journey and the skin cycling so that's that in regards to product I will link all the products below in the description but before we move on to hair care I'm going to quickly just mention that when I went through this acne flare up that I had. I don't honestly know what it was specifically. It was very hormonal. I do feel like it was probably stress induced as well, but I have had a lot of times in my life where I've had these acne flare ups and I've really had to figure out what it is that I wanted to do in regards to my skin to see what was happening and how I wanted to go about trying to fix it. Because obviously being on social media all the time isn't great. It's, it's, you don't feel comfortable when you're not feeling your best, when you have quite bad acne. And I'm not one to, you know, feel the need to cover it up all the time. But at the same time, it is it is hard, like you, you can do everything under the sun and it can still not work. Like I got my hormone levels tested, didn't look like anything was out of whack. I've eaten the same my whole life, nothing was out of whack. Cut dairy out completely, nothing changed. I did this, nothing changed. So it was a lot more than just one thing. I feel I think it was combination, but for whatever the reason was, I waited it out. Honestly, the only thing that worked for me is time and obviously a little bit of stress reduction. So a little bit of more time for me, a little bit more do time outdoors, less touching of my face, you know, obviously cleaning pillows, just general, a lot of little general things that you know about skincare, all adding up plus time. I feel like this is the one thing people don't tell you. It's when they're like, oh, I went through this acne journey. They don't tell you that at the start of the picture, it was two years ago. At the end of the picture, it was two years later. Like there's a good two year gap in between those times. And yes, for some months it was absolutely brutal. There was a lot of, I had a lot of inflammation on my chin, um, along my jawline, which is exactly what they say when it's hormonal. Just wanted to mention that because obviously products themselves can never just cure acne. It just doesn't work like that. Acne is always from deeper down in your skin it's way, way more than your skin surface. So that's what happened there. Let's move on to hair. So your girl used to be very, very blonde. Now I'm gonna give you a photo. My hair was fried, it was fractured. The poor thing had no love. I was just wanting to be the beachiest, blondest little babe in Australia and it wasn't cutting it for me. So I decided to go to a new hairdresser in Brisbane in the valley. She's amazing, I'll link her below. Um, her name's Charmaine and I kind of said, look, I really want a lived in natural color. I want to bring my root color back into my hair, but I still want some face framing of blonde and I still want some kind of blonde because I do feel like I am still a blonde, but I want to be more of a natural lived in blonde. She started pulling my roots out, my root coloring out. Again, kept the face framing of the blonde. So you'll see, you can literally see right now as I'm looking down, there's a lot of dark and then there's literally just these two money pieces at the front that are blonde. So that's what we decided to do. Because I was bringing out my natural color more, that meant that less trips to the hairdresser, less bleach used in my sessions, and obviously a lot healthier for my hair. So again, hair growth could easily come down to the fact that I'm just not bleaching it as much, but I do also think that the products that I use are important, and I also think that the things that I've learned along the way are important as well. I'm gonna quickly grab the products and be back in one second. Okay. <laughs> 
there's actually so much here. So let's start with the basics, which is obviously just washing your hair. So I use the Virtue Labs Recovery Conditioner and Recovery Shampoo, and I wash my hair with this twice a week, max. I do not wash my hair anymore than twice a week. Honestly, sometimes I'll go like two or three times a fortnight as well, depending on how long my hair can stay clean without it being greasy or dirty. Again, my skin is quite dry, so it also means my hair is quite dry naturally, which is kind of nice at the same time because it means that less time that I need to worry about oil re resurfacing and me having to wash my hair. So my hair can last like a good five or six days without a wash. Some people might be embarrassed about that, but I am proud. When I do wash my hair, recovery, shampoo, and conditioner. Again, once to twice a week. At the moment, I've only been using this once a week and I've been using this once a week as well. So I'm still washing my hair twice a week, but I'm using the K18 Peptide Prep shampoo. I've only been using this for two weeks, so I don't know 100% how it is, but basically you wash your hair with the shampoo, you let it soak in, you just towel dry it, and then you run some of this leave-in molecular hair repair mask, and you allow that to dry, and it's just a leave-in formula. So that's my weekly washing routine, is one time with the K18 Duo, and then one time with the Virtue Labs Recovery Duo. Once a week, I will put this restorative treatment mask in, leave it in overnight in one of my hair towels, leave it in my hair towel, wash it out in the morning. I cannot be bothered putting a mask in, coming back later in the shower 15 minutes later, and washing it out. So I just leave it in all night. So I use this once a week. It's literally just a restorative treatment mask, very hydrating, rebuild strength silkens, Virtue Labs, Really good stuff. I also use this little thing to massage my scalp while I'm in the shower washing my hair. It massages in all of my shampoo. Steve is also a absolute slut for this because he just sits in the shower and rubs his hair with it. But basically I just rub it through. It's meant to stimulate growth, who knows, but it just feels good. Like you're at the salon massaging your head. Like that's what it feels like. It actually feels better when your hair's dry too, actually. Then we have dry shampoo. I just started using this stuff the other day. It's actually really, really nice. I love, love the smell, love the feel of the product on my hair. I really enjoy it. Also, if you didn't know, dry shampoo is meant to be used before your hair gets oily, before it gets dirty, before it gets gross. It is not meant to be used as like a last minute savior, just so you know. And you're also meant to spray it like a decent away out from your actual hair. If you're spraying too close, it's just gonna make your hair look oilier. But anyway, that's the Amica Per Cup Dry Shampoo. I think that's how you say Amica, it smells so good. So, I use this hair oil on my hair every single day. I absolutely love it, it's incredible. And then likewise, it's another daily hair serum. But I use this one, not daily, but I use it every time that I wash my hair. So usually when I'm using my Virtue Labs, because obviously you don't want to be putting in with the K18, let that do its thing. But if I ever wet my hair, or if I ever wash my hair without using the K18, I'll use the Remilia, and I'll use that on wet hair as it dries. These are honestly incredible. I really hope I can get them in the US. They're actually from the UK, but I'm really hoping I can get them in the US because I'm almost out. I've probably used about five or six of these tubs. They've got 30 capsules in each little tub but they're so worth it. Again, I'll link it down below. And then I also have this Promote Activator Lengthen, Strengthen, Amplify Hair Lengthening System. Now this is literally just a serum that you put on your roots. I put the, just in my middle center, I pull this apart, I put it down here, just to the front of my hairline. I have no idea, I mean, I'll have to find the link for it, but my hairdresser recommended this to me. She had it at their store, so I just purchased it straight off her. I really like it, I think it's really nice. It's also a serum that I feel I can put in when my hair's dry and it doesn't make it oily. So even though it sits on my scalp, I can rub it into my scalp and it doesn't make the surrounding hair oily and it doesn't look gross. So that's really good. So oils, the Hair Serum Bromelia, it's every time I wet or wash my hair with Virtue not the K18. Virtue Labs every single morning. Like I said, my hair's dry. She's been bleached before in the past. Like obviously we've had a lot of cuts, so it's a lot healthier now, but still very much so. So needs a lot of love, a lot of care. The healing oil is incredible for that. And then the Roots Serum, that's basically just to help your hairline growth. I feel like I don't have too bad of a hairline. Like I do have quite a lot of growth through my hairline. Who knows how that will go once I've actually had kids 
once I go through that phase, we'll see. But I'm gonna keep this up for now. The last thing I wanted to show you was just my little hair perfume. It's literally just a hair perfume, like a smell. So I literally, you meant to spray it from quite a ways away. And then just woo, wipe your hair through it. Oh, it smells so good. Sometimes I put this on and Steve's like, your perfume smells so good. I'm like, that's my hair perfume. Does not understand. Um, hair tie use, I use a silk scrunchie or I use these fat banded seamless like elastics. I feel like they are probably the ones that hold in my hair the most but also aren't damaging my hair so I love them. And then I just use some little headbands to hold my hair back when I'm doing my skincare. That is that. Also my hair brush is from Kevin Murphy. It's the smoothing brush. I absolutely love it. It's a brush that doesn't get real deep in the roots. It kind of stays quite surface level on the hair. But it also is a very soft brush, like it doesn't grip into your hair and rip it. Forgot to show you this stuff. Bumble and Bumble, their post-workout spray. Perfect for when you don't want to wash your hair, you've just gotten back from the gym. Spray that into your roots, spray that into your hair, let it air dry. And honestly, it feels like it's as fresh as new. It's like insane how good it feels post-workout. Because a lot of people are like, ew, Morgan, you don't wash your hair more than once or twice a week and you work out every day. Well, that's my secret. Also, you girl grew up in Australia, it's muggy as hell. I'm not showering 10 times a day because firstly, water restrictions, and secondly, like I'm just gonna get even dirtier and even messier and even sweatier. So yeah, products like that save my Okay. Hair is in, oh crikey, what is going on? I'm gonna show you one more product. And it's my go-to for the slick look. So Virtue Labs also has a six-in-one styler and I just use this serum to quite literally flip back that hair. It's a styling serum, so again, it kind of just comes out pretty easy. Like by the end of tonight, I'll be able to brush my hairbrush through my hair and it'll feel completely fine. Like it won't be sticky, it won't be gross from the product, it'll be perfectly fine. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad I finally got to do an updated version because it was very much requested. If you have any questions, let me know. Not sponsored at all by any companies. I literally purchase every single one of my skincare, hair care, and makeup products. So I'm not earning anything off it, no stress. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Description has all the links, all the products down below. If you feel like that is something you wanna look into, that is it. See you guys on the next video.